Hey y'all, it's your favorite wedding planner, Rachel Burke Garcia, owner of As You Wish Events and the Bride Babe Club. And I'm here today with Chef Joe Lee, and we are going to talk about how to host Thanksgiving at your house for the first time. All right, y'all, so I'm here today with Chef Joe Lee of Low Country Cuisine. Um, Jolie, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your business? Sure. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Of course. I'm excited. Um, as Rachel said, I'm Chef Jolie, and I am the owner and executive chef of Low Country Cuisine. Cuisine with a Q, just think queen of Southern gourmet. Absolutely. And we cater weddings, corporate events, private home events. And today, I'm so happy that I get to be here with you. Thank you for being here. And so um, while we talk through some tips and tricks of how to host Thanksgiving at your house for the first time, I asked Chef Jolie if she would help us um, learn how to prepare a vegetarian entree because I myself am vegetarian. Right. And I'm hosting Thanksgiving at my house for the first time this year. Oh. Right? <laughs> Adulting at its finest. Um, so I would love to learn a little something um, that I could whip out for my guests. Okay. And now I'm beginner level. Okay. I am no chef. Okay. So um, I'm excited for Chef Jolie to teach us today. Um, and so can you tell us a little bit about what we'll be making? I I can. This is super easy. This, okay, good. This is beginner level, yes. and you'll be able to do it. All the viewers will be able to do it. Good. It is a vegetarian stuffed portobello. Yum. Yes. And what's good about it is that for Thanksgiving, uh -huh. so you get that feeling of stuffing. Okay. And the portobello is nice and meaty, mm. so you know it's filling. Yes. Yeah. So that's. Did you what know we're stuffing do. is my favorite Thanksgiving huh. meal? I had no clue. That's my favorite. So I'm really excited about yes. this today. Yes, we were we're meant to be. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So what do we do first? Okay. So you said you don't cook at home. I don't. Right. I don't. So I'm gonna put you to work. Okay. So I'm nervous but excited. This is gonna be fun. So I have some vegetable oil here. Okay. And this pan is hot. Like. People know to preheat their ovens when right. they're baking. I always preheat my pans when I'm cooking on the stove. On the stove. Uh -huh. Because you don't want to put hot food in a cold pan, right? Okay. So this okay. pan has been preheating. Pro tip. Yeah, pro tip. <laughs> so I have some veggies there. Okay. Right here. This These. is just some zucchini, mm -hmm. some squash, some mushrooms. You okay. can put carrots, whatever your favorite veggies are, in that hot pan. The whole thing. The whole thing. All right, here we go, people. Ooh, we I hear that sizzle. We got a sizzle. So you have a little spatula uh -huh, right there. Right mm -hmm. And just kind of, we're sauteing. That's what we're doing. Look at me go, guys. <laughs> Look at go. <laughs> and then we're going to season. So I have my seasoning there, a dab of duya. Okay. I'm going to keep stirring while oh, you season. Keep stirring. Yep. yep. Go okay. ahead. So you tell me when. Yep. And this is to taste. So okay. about that much. All right. That's good. Perfect. So this is just like an all purpose seasoning that Adaba do you. You can use it on whatever. And this is your brand, right? That is my brand. I've yes. been wanting to try this so bad, so I'm really glad that we're using you it. You get to try it today. There's garlic in there, there's turmeric in there. Yum. A little bit of uh, cayenne pepper, all the things. All the things you all need. All the things. Mm -hmm. So we got that going. Okay. And I would say we'd saute this here. This yep. is your job. I'm on it. I'm get on it. Get to it. Sorry, I was slacking. <laughs> so we're going to let that saute until they start to get a little bit soft. Maybe like three minutes or so. Okay. So if you cut them this size here, they'll saute fast. Okay. Any bigger, it'll take longer. So Got this it. is the, the perfect size. Got so it. next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some panko breadcrumbs. And panko breadcrumbs are just Japanese style uh, breadcrumbs. They're a little bit bigger and coarser than regular breadcrumbs. Oh, I didn't know that. Those are them right there. Okay. So just pour a little bit at a time. Okay, you just tell me when. Okay. And this is what's gonna make the stuffing for us. Keep going, keep going. I think that's good. Okay. We may need to add more. Okay. So grab your, your spatula there. Mm-hmm. And then keep stirring it. Okay. And then hand me that pinko, and I'm gonna add a little bit more as, as we go. go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good amount. Delish. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some chicken stock. Okay. Not chicken stock. <laughs> I was about to say, wait a second. This is vegetarian. <laughs> we're gonna add vegetable 
Ah, yes. Okay. But I guess if you're not into a vegetarian thing and you, you can, wanted to use chicken stock, you can you add chicken stock. So okay. we have some vegetable stock right there. Okay. And so I'll start adding as you stir. Perfect. Because we just want to get it a little bit moist. Got it. Okay. So that it's, you know, you don't want to dry stuffing, right? Yeah. And it worth? kind of binds it together, I it guess. It does. Okay. But then we have this white wine mushroom cream sauce that's right over there. And we're gonna add that next. Okay. This one right, right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll add that. I'm gonna use this spoon. Our butter is in. Now this, let me tell you, this is gonna make it so luxurious Ooh. because you have the white wine, language. white wine and there's butter. Yum. And then there's heavy cream. Yum again. Yes. And just keep mixing it and you just add. I don't know, have, I was gonna ask you a crazy question. I was gonna ask you, have you ever made stuffing before? <laughs> you have it. So if anybody's ever made stuffing, the key to stuffing is to, for me, to kind of eyeball it, to see like the consistency that you want. Do you see it kind of coming together? I do. Let me grab that spoon over there. Okay. And then I'm gonna take over a little bit yep, and kind of fold it. Oh, interesting. You see how it's coming together? I, I mean, do. Turn that down. And then if you think that, oh, you know what? I want it to be a little bit more moist. You yep. can always add just a little bit more of the vegetable stock here. Okay. And you'll see it start to stretch a little bit. I see that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we have our portabellas, which we're gonna introduce in just a minute. Okay. And this is like, this is it. Okay, so while we're letting this cook and come all together and get so juicy and Yum. tasty, my mouth is watering right now, uh, we're gonna grab our portobellas and get to stuffing them. Perfect, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so okay. we got our stuffing yep. all good all and good. all together. Yep. And so these are our portobellas okay. and you're gonna do the stuffing. Okay, so while I'm stuffing these, do you host Thanksgiving at your house? I do, and I prefer it. Okay. <laughs> so what are some tips that you have for a first time hostess or host? You know what, the one of the things that people don't think about, and you and I were talking about this, like mm -hmm. utensils and stuff like that. Yes. You know, having all your china and setting the table like a couple of days before. Oh, that's a good tip. So that you can make sure, you know, you have the right amount of plates. For yeah. the people that are coming over. And you're already set and ready, you know, then you don't have to think about it that day while you're cooking. Exactly. Interesting. Yes, write your menu. Mm -hmm. And don't wait until Wednesday to go shopping. There's gonna be nothing left, and guess what? Your turkey will never thaw out in time. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> Grocery stores are already picked over as it is. Exactly. Like, waiting till the Wednesday before, no. No. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, that's one thing that um, you know I'm discovering is as I'm pre-planning the menu and writing out all the ingredients, it's not just the ingredients themselves, it's the utensils, the the, the meat thermometers, the, you exactly. know, the different equipment that mm -hmm. you need for all of these recipes that mm -hmm. I don't necessarily have. So right. that's a whole other layer to it. And here's the thing too, if you don't cook a lot, test your oven. Smart. You don't want to wait until the night before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving to turn on your oven and realize it don't work. Yeah. <laughs> so, Brilliant. Yes. Okay, so do these need more or do we just want to You can it? add a little bit okay. more. Yeah, okay. stuff it up. Just get in there. Mm hmm Okay. Got to get aggressive with yeah. it. Yeah, and you can, like, get your hands dirty. You okay. can mold it. <laughs> yes. Don't be afraid. It's just Got food. it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're getting in there now. Like that. And I'm just going to shape this one. Okay. And you can shape the other one. Okay. Like that. Look. Beautiful. There we go. And so I have a 350 degree oven. Okay. Ready and waiting. Perfect. We're going to put these just right in there. Okay. Like that. And then I put a little bit of vegetable stock down in the bottom, just a teeny bit. Okay. Cover it with foil, and then about 20, 25 minutes, and it's steaming, mm. and it keeps it moist. Okay. Because you don't want it to dry out. Right. And then we have this delicious white wine cream sauce that we're gonna put on top, and some toasted panko for a little crunch. Okay. You're gonna toast the panko. Oh, I'm ready. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. So we just took these out of the oven. How long did we cook them for? About 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 20, 25 minutes in the yeah. oven. Mm -hmm. These are freshly done. We just took them out. 
Um, tell me what to do next. Okay, so we're gonna toast a little bit of panko, have a little bit of unsalted butter. Okay. And my warm preheated skillet. Yes. And then you're just going to put a little panko in there. All right. Until it starts to get brown. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna give you that spoon. Mm -hmm. And, and do just a little mix in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that's just to have a little bit of crunch. I'm all about texture in my food. Love that. Soft and crunchy and, you know, all of those things. Mm -hmm. So while this is uh, getting brown, mm -hmm. um, you know, a few more tips for those hosting Thanksgiving at home for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that uh, my family does is actually a potluck. Oh. So everybody brings a dish. So. My thought this year, since it's my first time, and mm -hmm. I, obviously I'm beginner level cooking here. Right. Um, you know, my thought is, just don't be afraid to ask for help, right? right? So I'm, because it's my first time hosting, I'm not gonna cook every single dish. That's just not realistic for right. me, mm -hmm. especially running a business and everything that we're doing. Um, so. I can turn that down, because it's getting brown. Getting brown see? real quick. Yeah. So one idea would be to do a potluck and invite your guests to bring a dish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely, for sure. Excuse me. And yeah. reach over here and have a little bit more in there. The there more we go. Panko, the there better. we go. Definitely have people bring a dish and you don't want it to be your first and last, you know, grand opening, grand closing. Yeah. Ask for help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Call me. Yeah, you'll be <laughs> on speed dial, just be prepared. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, don't forget the beverages. Like, we get so worked up about the food. Don't forget the wine. Don't forget the cocktails. You know what? Because if they're drunk, they won't care what the food tastes like. That is the truth. That is the truth. I will be implementing that strategy yes. um, on Thanksgiving. That's the pro tip. That's what, that's what you came here for today. <laughs> I love it. That's perfect. Okay, this looks nice and brown. Yes. Okay. okay. Now you're ready. So when you have a spatula there, mm -hmm. go ahead and grab you one. Okay. And I have this little napkin here because mushrooms are so, they have a lot of water. Uh-huh. And so if you just blot it a little bit on that paper towel. Got you plate it. it, you won't get all this extra water, Got you it. know, releasing on your beautiful plate. Okay. There yeah, you, you gotta, go. gotta make it pretty. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna switch okay. over here, and then all the all the uh, recipes will be down in the description box. Perfect. So yes. yeah. Yeah. So this is a delicious white wine, rich, creamy sauce. Mm. And you know what? If you have a vegetarian version of gravy for, you know, cause it's Thanksgiving, right. you can use that too. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, so drizzle. Mm -hmm. So just a little on top. Yeah. Wherever you like it, that's perfect. And then Yum. you get that spoon over there uh -huh. and just put a little bit of this crunchy, buttery, mm. toasty. Ooh, toasty. Panko. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a little bit or as much as you like. And then we have some garnish there. That's okay. perfect. Got it. Yep. And then just finish it off with a little bit of color. Okay. And there you go. You did this. You did this. You did it. <gasps> Thank you for showing me the ropes. It's beautiful. Yay! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> All right, so here we have our final product. I can't wait to taste it. Okay. You go first. Okay, I'm diving in. Your guest. I'm gonna go second. Yes. It's nice and more. It looks so good. This will fill you up too. No need to worry that you'll be mm. missing something. Mm-hmm. Delicious. It's real good. <laughs> It's so good. That crunch of the panko is so nice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have another piece. Mm -hmm. Keep talking. What do yeah. You, what do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> I need to learn all the tips and tricks because everybody at Thanksgiving will love this, even if they're not vegetarian. Right. I mean, it's so good. Um, but that's you know just one thing to consider when mm -hmm. you're having people over is just keep in mind their dietary restrictions. Especially nowadays, I'm sure as a caterer, you you see so many you hear different, it all. yeah, mm -hmm. different dietary restrictions. So something to keep in mind and think about when you're hosting guests at your house. Yeah, you can do it, right? Hey, I feel way more confident after today that I can host a Thanksgiving at my house for the first time. So I'm really excited. Me too. Thank you so much you're for teaching welcome. me and for helping me prepare this delicious food. Welcome. Where can everybody find out more about you? 
Yes, well, of course, you can come and visit me on my channel. Yes, yes. At Home with Chef Jolie, where I give people lots of tips and tricks and hacks, just like we did today. Yeah. And social media, of course, follow me on Instagram, chef underscore Jolie underscore low country cuisine with a Q. Perfect. And we'll also link all the socials and your channel in the description box below. Yeah, thank you. Yes, and of course, I'm also on social. So find me at as you wish underscore DFW, or if you wanna to get to know a little bit more about my personal life, at Rachel Burt Garcia, and my TikTok is that same handle. So thank you so much. You're and welcome. we'll see you guys next time. Bye, babes. <laughs>